So, because I was born in Australia and I obviously wasn't in Somalia to see the witness tr the transition, how I noticed that my community was definitely becoming, um, I guess, more extreme. So those first Somalis that came, right, um, they were very liberal, like nobody, like it was very loose hijabs, like it was very, like my uncles, I just remember, um, you know, when I was growing up, uh, up until I was 10, like men and women would sit in rooms together. There was no sort of separation and segregation. Yeah. But as I got older, what I noticed is the more Somali refugees had come, these were like um, the ones that had actually experienced the war and all of that and was sort of, I guess, had the trauma. They were extremely religious. So the, di the demographics started to change, you know. So right. um, by the time I was 12, for example, so the neighborhood that I lived in, um, you know, before I was, to, when I was younger, like Somalis didn't really know each other, they didn't really care. But by the time I was 12, I was, my area was sort of like filled with Somali, um, new Somali migrants. And things like, you know, there was a swimming pool near my house. I couldn't go to that no more because my mom was like kind of hyper aware of her community. She's just like, kind of like, don't shame me now that these people are here. Oh, you know, okay. they can see, yeah. So... My life, so as the community um, came... How, how old were you at this point? So around 12 when, like, the... So you're a 12-year-old girl point. and there's a swimming pool and you can't go have fun because of the changing environment around you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it, I'm in Australia and everything, but my mom's just like, just don't shame us, you know? So my immediate family is really liberal. But at the same time, they have this kind of thing where they want to uphold the ways of my ancestors. So they're like, just don't do anything in public type you know. Don't bring shame to our family. Don't bring shame to us. Yeah. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash S-J-M-E.